All right, today you are going to learn how to draw a simple house using the robot here. Um, just going on the grid map, and then I hit the expand. So it looks pretty much like this when you get into it. Go to playground. It'll pop up with grid map. Then you can just hit the expand button right there. I just always kind of slide it over to the side. I don't care where you start drawing your house or what color you use. I'm going to uh, kind of move it up, all right, to right in here. Okay, so that would be two, four. So I'm going to drive forward for 400. And then I want to turn him to the right. Turn right for 90 degrees. Okay, so he's going to drive forward for 400, turn right, and then I'm going to move him. Okay, two, just 300, so I'm going to move him there, then to three, so if you watch, he's going to go up, he's going to turn, so I'm going to move him 300, so I start right there on that line. Again, I don't care how far you move him, as long as you get the house, and it looks pretty similar. Um, we're going to draw a square and then a triangle on top for the roof. So I'm going to move him forward 300. At that point, I'm going <coughs> to drop my pin. Move pin down. I'm going to use red. All right. So again, I'm just going to start out by playing. Show you what I get. What I have here. He stops right here. My pin goes down. I'm going to draw a simple square. Okay, and I'm just going to draw it for two, four, six. All right, 600, so that's going to go across three right there, and it's going to go up 600, over 600, then back down. All right, so to go there, I'm going to drive forward for 600, and then they are all left turns from here, creating my square. So I'm going to turn left, and I'm going to drive forward, because again, I'm making a square. For 600, and I'm going to turn left, and I'm going to drive forward for 600, and just so you can see what he's done so far, drives up, drops the pin, starts drawing, turns left for 600, turns left for 600, drives forward. So again, I need to turn left and drive forward for 600 to finish out my square. So I'm going to turn left. Then drive forward for 600. And then if I reset and play it, now he's going to draw the entire square. Going around, turning left, going forward for 600, turning left. 600, turning left, 600, and that takes me back down to there. Now, at this point, I need to spin my robot all the way around. So I'm going to turn right, but to get him to go all the way around, it's not 90, it's 180. So he spins all the way around. At that point, I need to get to the top of this line so I can start my triangle right here. So once he spins around, I gotta go back 600. Alright, so now, if you watch it, he'll draw it all the way through. Spin around. Go back to the top. All right, now I'm ready to draw my triangle. Okay, so I have to turn to the right, but I'm not going to turn to the right 90. I only want to go half of that, so that way I can draw an angle. So that is 45. So now he's going to turn right. And now I want him to go kind of all the way into this area, and you can adjust your distances after you draw it to make it look right. So if I drive forward, Let's say for 400. 
He's going to draw, go forward to there. Okay, now I need him to turn right 90 and come to there. All right, so now I'm going to turn right for 90. And then I'm going to drive forward 400 just to keep the same as that one. All right, and I'm going to have him pick up the pin. And then just kind of drive off the edge of the house here. Now I'm just going to check to see what my triangle looks like. To see if I need to adjust these two numbers here to get more of a truer look to my house so there's not any space between my lines. Draws a square. Spins around. Goes back up. Now he turns it a 45, goes to there, comes back down. Okay, so as you can see, my triangle is a little bit off, so I need him to drive just a little bit further. Not much, just a little bit right there. So this is the number that he needs to go further. So I'm going to try 450, and then I'm going to change that one to 450. Now, I'm sure there's a mathematical way you can do this, figure it out exactly. For me, it's just easier to do trial and error and adjust what my lines look like once he's done drawing. He goes up, draws up and then over, and then finishes out. So now you can see I'm a little bit too long. So I'm just going to adjust those. Let's say 430 and 430. Watch it one more time and hopefully call it good. And boom, there is my house. Make sure you take your screenshot, use the same turn-in document for today's assignment and Wednesday's assignment. It is below on Google Classroom.